picking up the last of our sand for concrete. And the Humber ladies are getting water. Right from the hose. Today we're going to do a tour of the trail systems at Jungle Eco Reserve. We're not going to be able to hit all of them, but we'll hit a good chunk of them. So let's do it. Well, living in the jungle is always a constant maintenance but there's always beauty uh, surrounding you as uh, everybody might see this this is a really big uh, root system and then it's actually uh, how do you call it up top from the soil and then if you will see up close look there's a very interesting tiny flower that blooms out from the root system one of our maintenance that is currently undergoing right now is amplifying the space side by side of each uh, stepping stones so that we can avoid snakes, uh, creepy crawlers, while you're walking around the jungle. So, come on. What is that in the jungle? These steps are actually underwater uh, when the water is at its highest. Lake Katoon goes up and down in different seasons quite a bit. So you can imagine where I'm standing is underwater um, and the lake level is continuing to rise here as we get further into the rainy season. This here is the steepest path at Jungle Eco Reserve. So it's not for the faint hearted. This one is a novice trail leading to the Arboretum. Found an interesting spider. The species variety in the jungle is truly spectacular. Things grow everywhere. One thing that you will know too while walking is there's a lot of um, stiff hills and we cannot control that, you know. You need to let the nature show its beauty and character. So just be careful, you know. Uh, this is a water drain off here. This is coming all the way from the road down to the lake. Plenty of trees fall over in the wet season. And um, there's quite a bit of cleanup to do on these trails. Always.
We are very thankful to Senor Pedro Van Muir's idea to work together with the nature. You know, this is from the very beginning, his idea, his dream. And we want to show you all that we can work with nature all together. Even if we do a little bit of uh, changes to make it uh, more human friendly because jungle is really thick and dense. But here we want to show you that you can build or you can put a stepping stone and then protect the root system. Because if we won't protect the root system, then you know what will happen. The, the tree will drop because the roots are being damaged and then if there is no uh if there's no enough support system well then where can the tree holds you know it will just gonna drop so this one is a great example i hope we will set an example with you guys this is full light and the more you walk into the into the jungle it will get dimmer but one thing for sure is you love it. Well, we've been walking for quite a while and we have two options here. It's either you will be sitting down on, on our benches or just find a stump or maybe a fallen tree that have been part of the forest like how it's natural way of decaying and this can be the purest form or beauty of the jungle and the more we get into there you will see different types of frogs and the tiniest to the biggest let's go So we're in the swampy area, and like Joyce said, there's lots of frogs and toads. Amphibians are actually one of the hardest hit um, kinds of animal that are on our planet with climate change. So I'm proud to say that Jungle Eco Reserve has an enormous amount of frogs, toads, and different styles of amphibian. A lot of them are found right in here. So this is the path and there's a um, water runoff here coming all the way up top through the jungle. There's a natural one. The runoff here unites all the way to that side and there's water there. We actually took our canoes in here one time, all the way up the runoff. This is all natural runoff filling up Lake Gatun. And this is the river that we actually came in on with our canoes. And Jungle wants to have a shower or a bath there. Right, Jungle? Again and again. So <laughs> they are the uh, the two creators of this uh, path cleanup, and this is Senor Flores, Jose Flores, and Jose Troya. So they're awesome, great helper here in the jungle. ¿Cuál es su nombre, señor? Jose Flores. 
Él es un maravillo para nosotros porque Él ha ayudado a nosotros a descubrir muchas cosas como la cascada en Alfajilla y Él está regalándonos muchas cosas que son muy interesantes. Eh, ¿Cuáles son, señor Flores? Como piña, piña de agua. ¿Qué más le traje yo, güey? Ah, el, el, el tapote, ¿qué más le traje yo? Ah, la flor del Espíritu Santo. Sí, que ese es el flor eh, nacional de Panamá Exacto. y que estamos esperando a florear algún día. Y usted ha nacido acá, ¿verdad? Sí, he nacido aquí. Some of the species out here have really optimized themselves to protect themselves um, in very interesting ways. This is a kind of palm, and as you can see, it's got mega spikes on it. If you're not wearing the right kind of shoes, that spike goes right through your shoe. One of my secrets why the mosquitoes aren't bothering me is you do this with your towel and tap it on your back. See? It cools you off and it's avoid it avoids mosquito bites. Well, we have lots of trails remaining, but we cannot have like maybe an hour or two videos in YouTube. So I guess we should, uh, how do you call it, cut our tour here. And we hope you enjoyed uh, some parts of it, but actually we still have half part remaining. And we hope that you will stay tuned for that. Nos vemos!